Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tech Team Tronics channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today we're going to do a tour of my home data center, so please stay tuned. What it consists of is uh, first things first, when everything comes in, it comes into the super micro, which is my uh, PFSense server. And then um, It goes to a router, a Wi-Fi router for DHCP, then to a switch, and um, and from the top down, I'll say this is my NAS. Very important. That stores everything from. Uh, music to virtual machines and everything that I need stored. It's the only computer that stores data for me and it's backed up remotely. Then I have uh, my Dell PowerEdge 410. And what that is doing for me is uh, it runs Proxmox and it runs Windows 10 and it runs several containers, which I'll demonstrate on screen. And I'll go down further to my PowerEdge R710. And that also is running Proxmox. They're both linked to the NAS. I can back up machines to that as necessary to what I call my P drive. So, there's a lot more to it. I got my KVM switch at the top. And that allows me to switch between the different inputs and different things. So the heart of this is this little switch back here. It's real simple setup. Sorry you can't see the switch too well, but it's a Netgear uh, GS316. Real simple unmanaged switch. And that controls, like that allows me to hook up everything. And this, I call it my video production machine. It's basically this Acer TC885 right here. And I use it to do the recording of the videos for the channel that deal with on-screen type stuff. Let's see if I can get a little light on the subject here. This is the back of it. Got it all decked out. And this is like my desktop section up here. Uh, it's one of the desktops. I have a Lenovo desktop. And then I have the Walmart gaming PC down here. And then I have the capture boxes, so Star Tech and such, for capturing stuff from over here for the channel. 
so and then I have a splitter box for all the HDMI signals so that I can use the uh, gaming PC regardless of what this stuff is doing while running this stuff through it it's a pretty amazing setup now for battery I have two APC backups 1500 and we can see so that's what it's looking like for me right now so it's it's got a little load to it we're online so I'm running two of these the other one you don't see because it's off to the side the other side of it so one thing is uh, I wish I had more um, of a powerful line and I could run more servers now this is uh, my router it's a TP link I forget what it is, it's a TP link. So that's exactly what I have is the AC seventeen fifty. Alright, so that's what I'm using. I I couldn't tell. You can see the GS three sixteen doing its thing and a lot of blue cable, this is Cat Six cable. I started this project in um, what back in uh, 2020. So you saw the uh, video portion of the actual hardware running the uh, data center for me. Now we're going to look at the soft part, and basically, I have everything bookmarked to a certain extent. So. If I wanted to get in at the top level, I would go to my PF Sense, which I'm not going to do in this video. But um, I'll go to the Proxmox installations and show you what I have going. All right, so within this node I could zoom in for you guys I have several machines running uh, several containers so these run various sites for me within the uh, network such as I have my own special search engine which I'll show a little bit um i have other little applications that run on top of containers so that's what these containers are for and then i have kali linux installation running and i have windows 10. and i have a lot of things i experimented on i could be running them right now but i'm not i'm just keeping it low energy go to jupiter and that's on the r710 Okay, so what I have running here is Ubuntu, Windows, and one container that runs the time management software. That's really it. So that's just one of the ways I could get to it to see how, see what the summary is looking like. And I'm using quite a bit of RAM so it's good to go and check your stuff out every now and again so you can see some of the software that I run on the the, uh, the nodes with the containers so I'll start by going down like I have it by cells
and and that's just a way for me to store files just another way to store files nothing major Firefly, having that installed. Hmm. Good financial application. Maybe I can, maybe I should learn to use it. Possible. One of my favorites is a Google search. And if you're interested in that, leave a comment or something and we can discuss how we would go about installing Google search as a Docker container on top of, uh, you know, uh, a, a Debian like that. So I could search for, um, computer, hardware and the thing about this search that I really like is that it doesn't it filters out all the ads so let's take a look at that closely filters out all the ads which is good and it gives you the basic stuff basically information uh, it's composed to using Google. That's what you have. So, furthermore, I have the Dash machine. I don't know what I put this on there for. So I'm just going to move on. I'm not even going to try to log into it. One of my favorite ones is the RU Torrent. It's a container that you can basically get your torrents on. So I might have to do some work with it because the port is closed. So I would have to open that port. So moving on. This is, I took and actually ran Apache on one of my containers in order to run this software here, Benson Bank CMS. There may be some videos in my collection that you could find regarding this old video or old software type, or not old, but it's, it's from last year. Pretty cool. So if you want some more information, you go to, to this link here, opnew.net dash bank. You get your own copy of it. Then finally, I have. Odoo, which I've done a little video about this before, has all kinds of cool little uh, 
add-ons that allow you to do everything from A to Z when it comes to your business. Pretty neat stuff. And it's just a container. All within the containers, the five or six containers. And finally, one more container that I did run. And it's called... Kamai. So those are all the, the things, the little things I have running on the containers within my setup that makes it unique and interesting. I can just show you hardware, but that's one thing. But you see all the software that runs on it. And this software you could run too. If you're interested in something that you saw here, put a you know, a comment below and we can go over it. Oopsie. So like ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed that, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel, visit all my links down below and hey, what do you know? We did it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.